Agricultural Bank of Namibia's Agri-Advisory Services Division offers training to farmers and bank clients in various farming enterprises in all 14 regions of Namibia through face-to-face -face sessions. The AgriLearn online platform will share production content on various agriculture farming enterprises to build the knowledge of farmers from all walks of life. Join us as we embark on this virtual journey towards sustainable farming as we zoom into the basics of livestock production. Good day. My name is Erastus Garuka. I'm the technical advisor for livestock and rangeland management for AgriBank's Advisory Services Division. All right, we are going to discuss about age determination in animals, and we are specifically looking at goats and sheep. All right, so it's very important to know the age of your animal because it plays a role in your management when it comes to breeding, when it comes to marketing, and even when it comes to uh, health management because there could be certain vaccines or certain dosages in uh, anthelmintics that you have to apply based on the animal age. And also, uh, when it comes to marketing, uh, there are certain body conditions. Uh, in fact, the uh, processing uh, facilities like Midco, for example, they grade your meat based on, on the body condition, the, the fatness, the conformation, and so forth. And when this, when the goat is born or a sheep lamb is born, they are born with teeth, and these are milk teeth. So these teeth will have to fall off for the permanent teeth to to erupt or come on. All right, so. They normally have to have eight teeth. When they are born, they are born with eight uh, milk teeth. But then these eight milk teeth uh, are turned into permanent uh, uh, teeth. All right. So how do they fall off? They normally fall in two. Okay. So the first two in the middle, they fall off. And then the next two permanent teeth or the two permanent teeth erupt in that spot where the other two has fallen. And then the next two again, they become four. They become six, eight. Okay. And then when you have permanent eight teeth, it's like a, a full mouth uh, animal which is mature. So when an animal has two permanent teeth erupted, then it is one year, one year old. When it has four, then it's two years old. When it has six, three years old. Uh, and uh, four, I mean eight, then it's four years and above. All right, so it's very important that the animal should be functional. That animal should be able to walk and should be able to go out there and eat feed, uh, uh, whatever forage resources is available. So meaning the teeth forms part of the uh, functional uh, uh, aspect of the, of the animal. So I'm going to demonstrate to you to show you how they come out. So this is a lamb, which is about two weeks old, and it has milk teeth so far. So I'm going to grab an animal, uh, a bigger one, and then you see how those teeth erupt how the permanent teeth replaces the milk teeth. Okay, uh, let's grab maybe this. All right, so if you look at this one, the goat ewe, and you can see how big these teeth are. So the first two, they erupt, the milk teeth, the first two, they fall off, and then two permanent comes on. And then the next two fall off, and the next and the two permanent fill in there. So if you look at this one, it has how many big teeth that you see here? One, two, three, four. So this goat is two years of age. And you can see it's still going to, to six because there are still small ones that will later on fall. Maybe every six to eight months, that's when the two uh, uh, teeth fall for the permanent ones to replace them. So this is two years of age. So now if you are, for example, the market demands a two year old uh, goats so this is how you can determine your age so if you don't have uh, maybe proper records so you can also use your uh, the, the dentition or the teeth to determine the age of the animal so already it's two years old you can satisfy the market by just looking here not having to wander around about the records and so forth all right i'll grab another one and then look at how old is that so this is two years of age because it has four permanent teeth okay if it is two it's one years of age or one year and a half if it's four then two years to two years and a half if it's six three years to three years year and a half if it's eight so it's four years already and then uh, and more okay i'll grab another one just to show you okay this big guy let's see how old he is 
All right, if you have proper records, you can easily identify when was it born. But then, when it comes to another way, if you are not sure of your records, you look at the, the teeth. So let's say you are interested in buying, you want to buy a ram for your animals, for your goats, and you would want a younger ram, obvious, uh, that will come and grow with your flock. So normally, most farmers would prefer to buy rams that are uh, one year and, and above. Uh, so that means two teeth animals, meaning animals that have uh, two permanent teeth erupted already. Let us look at this big guy, okay? So this is also very important that you will not be maybe deceived by the person selling you. All right, look at that one, very interesting. So you can see that there's one big permanent teeth there. Okay, there's, if you look at that open space, one has fallen, the milk teeth has fallen. So there will still be a permanent teeth coming on there. The other one is already filled up, if you can see. So what does this, what does this tell you? How old is this rem? This rem is turning one year or it's already one year and a half already, or it's more than one year old. Okay, so now you know when you're going to look for a rem uh, of this quality and the age, you already know that I have scooped. You know? I was not deceived. It's very important. Many farmers, they lose out there. Going out, looking for rems, seeing a big rem like this, but then without looking at the teeth, that animal is old already. There's no teeth. It can't go in even and eat and so forth. So the functionality is also influenced by the teeth, the age. Even when it comes to breeding, you would want to breed your animals maybe at 17 months of age. So this is how you look at them. Maybe 12 months of age. How will you determine that if you don't have proper records? It's by looking at this. Okay? So let's look for another, maybe an altar animal and see the difference. Come, Osi. So this is a sheep. There's no much difference between sheep and goats in terms of age and teeth uh, uh, dentition, they are the same. All right, so let us look at this mama. So you can see all of them are big. The, the, the milk teeth have all of them fallen. Now we have the permanent ones and it's all eight, meaning this animal is four years and above. And you can also look at the, the body condition that it's an old animal that has been there for some time. So all the eight permanent teeth have erupted. This animal is four years and above. Okay, let's maybe look for one more example. You have to be very careful. If it, if you, if it hooks you between the horns, your arm is gone. Let us look at this guy. Let's say you want to buy this rim. Obviously, you need to know the age. One, six. So this is interesting. So six permanent teeth. What does this tell you? He is three years of age. All right, we have just talked about uh, age determination in animals and we have focused on small stock. But again, when you're talking of the, uh, the aspects that one has to consider in terms of animal management, is the age number one. And the most important thing also, especially if you are involved in breeding and marketing and all of these things, it's the body condition of the animal. So the body condition, we are looking at the, the fatness of the animal. Fat distribution, how lean or how fat it is. So the leaner it is, so the worse you are. And the fatter it is, the better you are, especially when it comes to marketing. But uh, there's uh, scores that farmers are using or that, that are standards, even where the uh, slaughtering facilities like Midco and so forth are using in terms of now pricing their animals. So apart from age, they also look at the conditions of the animal. So you look at score number one, that's the lowest, meaning that animal is very lean. And then up to score number five, meaning that animal is, is fat. So now, it doesn't mean that your animal has to be always fat, number five. But then when the market demands fat animals, yes, you win on that one. But when it comes to breeding, for example, you don't want too fat animals and you also don't want very lean animal. So a lean animal 
will struggle even to give birth because it will not have sufficient energy even to push out the calf or it will not even attract the bull uh, to conceive or to mate. So at number five, which is now the, the fattest, uh, yes, if the animal is too fat, nice, beautiful, but when it comes to reproduction, it may also not conceive because there could be a lot of fat deposition on the ovaries. And then again, if it was pregnant, that animal will struggle to give birth because there's also fat deposition in the birth canal. So you always have to play around with your, uh, your body scoring. So it's very important that you always keep track of your animals in terms of body condition. So they will tell you their nutritional status and that's how as a farmer, you may need to come in. If they are too fat, maybe you reduce the feeding or maybe change the diet. If they are too lean, then it means maybe you need to improve on something, maybe add some certain nutrients that the animal is lacking. Or they will even inform you about the grazing conditions uh, uh, in your area. That's it for now. Join us next time for more valuable insight. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel to avoid missing out on new content. Also, follow us on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram pages for more content.